Today I've got something special for you. We've got three bottles of bourbon whiskey. We're gonna make three infusions in 24 hours. We're gonna make a bacon whiskey. We're gonna make a graham cracker whiskey. And we're gonna make an almond butter whiskey. How exciting. Okay friends, let's kick off this bourbon bizarro with our bacon whiskey. So go to the store and pick out the smokiest bacon you can find. We're gonna take eight ounces, about six pieces of thick cut bacon. Warm up your stove to medium high. Let those sizzle, stir them frequently. This took me about 10 to 12 minutes on my stove top. You just want to make sure a lot of that fat has rendered. You can see it starting to pool up there. Just keep moving it around and when the bacon's golden brown and you've got a lot of that fat in there, you're good to go. We're going to remove that from the heat for one minute. Pour your warm bacon grease into a bowl and add your whiskey. Now whisk your whiskey. We're gonna let this hang out uncovered for two hours at room temperature, and then we're gonna cover it up, throw it in the freezer overnight, and check on it tomorrow. Next up we have our graham cracker bourbon. We're gonna want seven ounces of graham crackers, which looks like this many pieces. Take your graham crackers and put them in a blender or a food processor and blend them up with your whiskey. I don't have a blender or a large food processor, so I split mine into two parts. Throw this in a clean glass jar and put it in the fridge till tomorrow. Last but not least, our almond butter bourbon. You can sub peanut butter if you want. I'm just using almond butter because that's what I have and I like it. So what we're gonna do is take one cup of our almond butter, spread that across the bottom of a baking sheet, pour in a bottle of your bourbon, cover that up and let it sit for 24 hours at room temperature. Oh, hey, what's up? Studies show that drinking causes liver damage, but do you know what doesn't? Subscribing to this YouTube channel. You're already watching the video. Just hit the subscribe button. Well, tomorrow is now today, my friends, and we've got some straining to do. All three of our bourbons are gonna go through the same filtration process, so get your cheesecloth ready and get your coffee filters ready. Let's take our bacon whiskey out of the freezer. As you can see here, the bacon grease has hardened up. So we're ready to strain that through our cheesecloth over a fine strainer and a funnel. And now replace your cheesecloth with a coffee filter. Funnel that back into your bottle and you're good to go. Let's take our graham cracker whiskey out of the fridge. I like to strain this through just the fine strainer first to get all those solids out, just so it doesn't clog up the cheesecloth right away. And then we're gonna put our cheesecloth over the fine strainer. And then replace your cheesecloth with a new coffee filter. Funnel that into a bottle and you're good to go. You're gonna lose some of the whiskey in the graham crackers. That's just part of the infusion game. Almond butter bourbon time. Let's strain this through a cheesecloth over a fine strainer into a jar. And as I'm sure you can guess, replace the cheesecloth with a coffee filter and let that slowly drip through. Funnel this back into your bottle and we're done. Well, we've done it. Three bourbon infusions in one day. So let's have a drink to celebrate. We are gonna take one ounce of our graham cracker bourbon one ounce of our almond butter bourbon. I'm gonna save the bacon bourbon for breakfast. 
throw in some ice. Pop that in the shaker. This is a lazy man's cocktail. Cheers for a thousand years. <laughs>